New York, the concrete jungle. A biome seemingly inhospitable to organic life. A landscape dominated by man and development. And yet, if you look a little closer, you'll find little bits of Eden tucked away between the skyscrapers. The city's community gardens. One in particular stands as a symbol of community activism, taking up a large portion of a city block in the Louis Sada neighborhood of Alphabet City. The space was built by Latinx green space activists in 1976. They turned a lot that was relegated to a trash heap into a healthy oasis of vegetation, a place for people to gather. It's become a model for community access to green space. I had a chance to interview one of the people integral to keeping this garden healthy and accessible to all of Luis Sada's residents last March. He explained to me how special the garden is to him. And if you take a minute to stop and look, I think you'll find how special this place is too. Um, my name is Pedro Diaz. I am a member of the Garden La Plaza in New York, and I am the person in charge of composting. I got involved uh, 16 years ago when my son was like uh, six months uh, old, and we were trying to find a place to, to hang out with my kid. The history of composting and me is uh, started here. Uh, when I moved here, there was an existing program that was uh, suspended. And then we basically, we restart the program and rebuilding the bins and the stuff that we have in the back for the system. And that's 15 years ago and still going. In the last years, people have changed their approach to composting. It, it was associated with uh, bad smells and rodents, which is, is a misconception. Not that it doesn't exist. We have a problem in New York City with rodents. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's not because of composting. And the other thing that I noticed is how people change their mentality about sustainability. And now people understand what composting is. I had to explain everything from the beginning, and now people like, know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the way it works, we have a system that is open to the public. And if you see the door, the gate open, you can come in and compost. We don't stop anybody from doing it. That we ask people to do it so they feel that it's a process that are more involved. It's not just a service. The food scraps, they had to mix it with some browns. It created an ideal environment for the bacteria to degrade the stuff that you bring. It has to be a balance between nitrogen-rich stuff and carbon-rich stuff. So, all the food scraps are uh, very rich in nitrogen. So you have to compensate it with uh, stuff that are rich on carbon. And we call them browns. Carbon filled stuff are browns, like, you know, wood chips, leaves, um, even uh, paper and stuff like that. So we are not very scientific about it, but we, over with experience, we have managed to, to create a good environment for that to happen and create, let's say, healthy compost. Yeah. So even though it could be frustrating sometimes, with, or you know, the convenience of people not doing the right thing, right thing, or if I have a stressful, stressful uh, week at work, it's harder for me to do it. But at the same time, every time I come and do it, I feel a happier person. So it's a, it's not about how much time it it takes. I think is is what I need for myself too. So. La Plaza Cultural for me represents uh, not just a, a real space, you know, also a symbolic uh, space. Uh, it has meant so much for my life and my family's life. My son grew up in this garden, play, playing around here and learning how to grow stuff and helping people and understanding that we live in a community. Uh, so for me, the garden is it would be hard to imagine a life without the garden and the people in it. We always call this our second home. Um, uh, that's very, for me, it's very important and deep. I, I appreciate it.